Okay, so I like uh, these chalk effect icons that I found in internet and uh, now they are very popular. So you can see uh, these icons, they are just shapes uh, that I um, inserted from the apps files from Adobe Illustrator. I make them myself, but they are uh, regular icons. And that is the effect that I worked on. It's not perfect. You can see the shortcomings here and flaws that I would like, but not to show, but they are the price of the quick work. I also noticed that the flaw of my original icons is that they have uh, thin lines. Uh, they basically contain outlines and the uh, chalk effect will look better if we use uh, bold shapes. I would like to show you the icons that inspired me for making this work. They are from internet. I do not possess the copyrights on them and show you as an example only. They are social icons. I admire the lines. They, they are made as with a chalk, very natural look. These are made with a chalk structure. You can see how the outlines of the shapes are transpar transparent in many ways on the sides. And still you can see the whole line. Here is another example. It is more like structure and it is more like what we will do. This is also chalk effect that contains more like outlines. Okay, so the challenge for today is making chalk icons in PowerPoint and you need PowerPoint 2016 and collection of icons in apps format, which is not necessary because I will show you also how to make these icons in PowerPoint itself from the shapes. So icons in apps format. What you need are apps files that you can make in Adobe Illustrator or, or take from the free icons uh, websites. I go to insert pictures and insert, for instance, a business card. You see that it is an apps format. Insert. Okay, here it is. I will change the background color so we can see the icon. It's white. Let me change it for a more contrast background. Okay. First of all, you should ungroup it because now it is a solid shape. Ctrl Shift G and Windows will ask you that this is an important imported picture, not a group. Do you want to convert it in a Microsoft Office drawn object? You hit here, yes. And now you have first this black outline frame, you can delete it and you cannot see it but this also has transparent rectangle on the background that we don't need just place the cursor somewhere on the shape and delete it all right now we have grouped objects now powerpoint sees it as shapes and we can change the color the outline color anything on this picture that's why i like apps files for instance shape fill see and shape outline we can get rid from it or make it bolder like this now i would like to change the background back to black and next what we need to fill in the icon is to make a chalk effect background. I took it from internet. Let's see how it works first and then we will make our own chalk texture. You should copy it to the clipboard. Copy. Now you have it. 
in your clipboard and now we can go to the shape options, fill options and hit picture or texture fill and use clipboard. Now you should go to the shape outline and hit no outline. So here is an effect. Let's take it closer look. That's how it looks like. I like the effect, but I also would like to make these lines not so strict, not so right. So I will ungroup the object. And now we have the clipboard effect applied to each of the shapes separately. See, it was changed. I will go back to show you the difference again. Here before ungrouping and see here how outlines are very strict and visible. And now I ungrouped it and the clipboard picture was applied to each of our elements separately. Next I would like to show you the effect when we apply to the bold icon. Let's take the postcard and recreate it in the PowerPoint. We can correct angles as we like. This time I would like to leave shape, shape fill and to get rid of shape outline. Now I want to subtract the little rectangle from the bigger one. Subtract and insert little rounded rectangles. Duplicate Align them properly Let's align them to the left And distribute vertically And then just cut them out from our shape This is an example of a rectangle bold shape. Let's fill it with a clipboard picture. Here how it looks. The last thing that I wanted to show you is how to make a chuck texture by yourself. The one that I made for the preview icons I did for myself. Let's take the next slide, use black fill and insert shapes. Take scribble and just make the random lines with mouse moving. We should we use on the shape outline, we can make it a little bolder and just duplicate it. You can rotate it to match the corners of the slide. Ok, now we hit Ctrl A to select all our shapes and Ctrl Group to group them, Ctrl Copy and Ctrl Paste and make it picture. You can delete this one objects and now we have a picture, crop it to the rectangle shape and apply the artistic effect chalk. Now 
you see the structure. Let's try it on our new shape. Let's duplicate it. We should go here and copy our new image and go to shape options, picture or texture fill and hit clipboard. That is how it looks. It is more transparent. We can we could use more of these lines to make it more visible. But you have an idea. So I wish you inspiration. See you next week.